Today, to celebrate hitting 5,000 subscribers, I revisit my setup tour. Hey guys, what's up, it's Gravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So yes, this week we hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, and it is blowing my mind. It feels like I was just making my 1,000 subscriber video, it feels like I was just making my 500 subscriber video, even my 100 subscriber video feels like just yesterday. It is unbelievable that 5,000 subscribers is here. There's 5,000 people subscribed to the YouTube channel and onwards and upwards to 10K. It's gonna come before we know it, considering how fast 5K came, but I cannot thank you guys enough. So to celebrate, we are gonna be doing another setup tour. It has been a while since I've done one. Actually, the last time I did it is when I first moved into this house and I did a setup tour of my brand new setup, but now it is time to do one now that I've lived here for just over a year and we've got a bunch of stuff in place and we're gonna do it a little bit differently than we did the last time. Last time I just sat here in front of the mic and talked and then added B-roll over the top. This time, it's gonna be much more laid Back. I'm gonna walk around the room and just kind of talk you through everything that's in the room much more relaxed and uh, Just chill. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. We're gonna cut to that and then I'll see you in a minute Oh, hey Welcome to the setup tour portion of the video So here behind me is the room you guys are all familiar with and are, are about to be more familiar with but before we go in there This part of the basement is just the main living part that is going to be Convert it into more studio stuff. You're gonna be seeing more videos shot in here like you have in the past But that is this area and then we're gonna move in here to the actual Studio and go over the basic stuff that we have in here to make YouTube videos and twitch streams. So here we are This is the room you see it in every single video first things first You might see we got a bunch of these blankets on the walls the sound blankets for keeping it uh, Acoustically treated in here. We've got the uh, the foam here the sound foam, mostly for decoration, but it does something. It does something, but it's just in the camera shot. It looks good, but we're going to move into the details. First thing we're going to look at, the 3D printer. So, you guys have seen this in Twitch streams. I just don't know if you know the... What's the word I'm looking for? The relation to where it is to the desk. The relation to where it is in the room. It's right here behind me. I walk right over here. We got the light hooked up. But yeah, you guys are seeing nothing new here. This is where I 3D print the stuff for the Twitch stream. We've got the roaming webcam here. This is the Logitech C920. Just hooked up on a light stand so this can move anywhere. So when I'm 3D printing, I can pop it right there, lock it in place, and uh, shoot a uh, time lapse or shoot stuff for the Twitch stream. But then I can move it over here and shoot stuff from the other parts of the setup. Or I can throw it up high and shoot the uh, desk wherever I want the webcam for the Twitch stream. It can be. But over here to the display stuff behind. You guys see this behind me in all the videos, but I don't know if you guys know what it is. So, G Fuel Pod. We got some other stuff back there, but pointless. We got the uh, Fortnite stuff, Fortnite figurines. We got Boogie Bombs. We've got the mats. This is something that I actually 3D printed on the 3D printer right there. So, real grenade. Real grenade. Okay, um, <laughs> we got the Ninja Pod. Don't know why I have that, but it's just kind of cool. Uh, we've got the James Bond and movie props pod. I love James Bond. I love 007, as you can see up here. We got a lot of James Bond and GoldenEye stuff in here that I'll show you. First things first, we got his gun in the airsoft form. Pretty cool. And then we got his gun in the, uh, the more real form. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> we've got the remote mine from GoldenEye. I've got the pin from GoldenEye. Drop the, drop the stand. Cool. What else do we got here? We got nunchucks, pointless stuff to go over in there. Here's the 3D printing section. We've got the awards, the 1,000 subscriber award, the 500 subscriber award. We've got all the names of people that I've printed in Twitch streams. If you spin the channel points, I'll print your names. We've got the famous sub to Bravity sign, the haunted sub to Bravity sign. Uh, still terrifies me to this day. Down here on the bottom, this is where we get to the really just kind of pointless stuff. We got a bunch of random stuffed animals. We've got the world's best boss office mug with some books down there. We've got the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera. Um, the B-roll shots that you're probably gonna be seeing throughout this uh, throughout this setup tour all shot on the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera. This is just kind of the backup camera when I'm not shooting on my main one. We got Rubik's Cubes, love Rubik's Cubes. We got a bunch of science and NASA stuff. We got some gallium. 
love me some science but that's pretty much it for what do you see back here we got the the on-air sign you guys might remember this from before i had this whole setup before i had the sub depravity sign the on-air sign used to be in the back of my videos moving on to this side of the room we've got more james bond stuff this is a new and cool item so if you guys have seen goldeneye by james bond by james bond the goldeneye movie for james bond this is the goldeneye device it is a prop replica by a company who did 500 of these and i got one this is number 412 with the keys and everything that is a really cool prop to have back here and it is fairly new we got more g fuel cans we've got a fortnite llama with a sea of thieves hat we've got some funko pops and then we've got the fridge stocked full of red bull there's a secret to this fridge and you guys don't know it but if you stick around to the end of the setup tour i'm going to tell you a secret about this fridge that has been staring you right in the face right in the face you have no idea we'll get on to that um before we move into the main part of the setup green screen this just kind of sits here behind me this is the elgato green screen mt it's just hanging from the uh the ceiling and it pulls down I can pull down all the way to the ground if I want, and then uh, I can shoot green screen stuff. I don't utilize this much, but I should. I should use it more. It is really cool. But now, on to the main part of the setup that everyone cares about. So, first things first, the desk. The desk is an IKEA Carl B tabletop from IKEA, and it's actually a countertop, but it's uh, it's really good for a desktop. And then we got two uh, Alex drawers on either side. Gives me plenty of storage for whatever I need holding up the desk this is by far my favorite desk i've ever had doesn't wiggle at all love it for the chair this is the herman miller embody it is a rather expensive chair but for how much sitting i do and for gaming and making videos it is really important to have an awesome chair that uh supports stuff so herman miller embody that is a really good really good chair but moving on we have got the peripherals. So we've got a Steel Series mouse pad. I believe this is like the XXL or XXXL. And you see, I've got it in a orientation to where it goes all the way over here. Usually you'd take this and you'd put it underneath your keyboard as well. I don't do that. I put it all the way here for the flick shots and whatnot. For the mouse, I have the Logitech G502 um, Lightspeed. I recently had the 502 Proteus Spectrum, and then I upgraded to the Hero, and then I finally upgraded to the wireless um, light speed and it is incredible got the charging cable over there for it for keyboard this is the corsair k70 keyboard really like it it is awesome i've been trying to replace it or figure out what i want to replace it with in the future but just haven't found anything yet so for now corsair k70 we've got the amazon alexa here we've got a stream deck here a bunch of stuff i've 3d printed this is some stuff for audio but before we get into that we'll get into the actual microphone so i've got the blue compass mic arm and then the sure sm7b microphone so this is the whole microphone setup blue compass mic arm sure sm7b really nice microphone setup and that can just tuck back here when i'm not using it it's got an xlr that runs all the way behind my desk and that plugs into this little blue box right here this is called a cloud lifter and it just kind of provides some clean gain boost for the microphone because the microphone's not very not very sensitive so then we've got this running into the Focusrite 2i2 interface. The interface just pretty much allows me to take the XLR signal, convert it to a USB signal, run it into my PC so I can use it on my PC. My headphones and speakers also plug into here. So anything audio, I'm just turning these knobs here. I can adjust the microphone, I can adjust my headphones, my uh, speakers, everything from this box right here. The headphones are the uh, Bear Dynamics DT990 Pros. They're incredible, they're open back best headphones i've ever used crazy comfortable because they're like felt and i uh don't see myself replacing these anytime soon the only thing i'll replace these with is another pair of these when these break probably so for speakers just basic logitech speakers nothing special i need to get some better speakers but basic logitech for now bunch of random stuff over here we've got a playstation controller for fall guys we've got a ton of card readers here for memory cards for making videos usb dongles that's pretty much everything on my desk. The monitors. I forgot about the monitors. So this is an Asus gaming monitor, 144 hertz. That is my main monitor whenever I'm gaming. And then on either side, we've got two Samsung curved displays, 27 inch. And they are both mounted to VESA mount. So a VESA mount 
is this arm here and this arm allows me to rotate them and move them all over the place. That's why we have one vertical and one horizontal because they're on the vase amounts. This is really nice for Twitch chat and whatnot. So from there, vlogging camera. This is the uh, Canon M50 with a Rode VideoMic Pro on top. If I ever need to do any kind of vlogging or have a third camera set up. So my C200 is my first camera. The uh, Blackmagic is the second camera. The third camera set up would be the, uh, the Canon M50 here, but that is kind of the, just the vlogging camera at this point. The main camera here that you see for all of my YouTube videos, all my Twitch streams and everything is the Canon C200. It is a cinema camera by Canon. It is unbelievably overkill for YouTube. And yes, it is ridiculously overkill for Twitch, but it is awesome and I use it for every single video and it looks great. You see two wires popping out of the back here. One of them is an HDMI running it to a cam link by Elgato just to bring the signal into my PC. And then the other one is just a cable that's powering it off of wall power instead of battery. The lens on there is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter f 1.8. As I say all those numbers, I realize that might be confusing. So everything I mentioned here in this setup, I'm going to try to put links in the description that you can click on them, check them out, see if you want to buy anything. But everything on here, I'll try to add a link to the description. But lighting, this is a big softbox. That is my main light big softbox right off to the side. It's a really big light source, so it provides very soft light on my face. So whenever I'm recording, I pop that on. Then over here, we've got another softbox. This is the uh, pink light that you see in my videos every once in a while that kind of shines wherever I want it to shine. But that is the pink light. And then we've got the floor light here. That is the blue light that is controlled by this controller right here. So I can just pop on the blue light whenever I wanted to. But that is the pink light controlled by the Philips Hue app on my phone. Philips Hue bulb. And that's it for the uh, desk setup. Then we've just got a bunch of random stuff around. We've got uh, this shelf right over here that's got a bunch of extra lenses on it. It's got the hard drives here. These two hard drives are what all my old Bravity videos are on. We've got extra capture cards, extra lenses, all sorts of stuff. I don't know if you guys are allowed to see that. Behind the door, this is my schedule for all of my videos that are up and coming. I am definitely gonna blur that. That video, that one's gonna be really fun. I think that's pretty much it. That's all we gotta go over in this entire setup tour. We've talked about pretty much everything in the room except some of the stuff hanging on the walls. Down here is just a bunch of storage for extra camera gear, um, extra 3D printing filament, all the different colors for the 3D printer sit underneath here in this cart. We've got a, uh, a secretive case here that I'm not opening yet. You'll see this opened later in the video. You'll know what that is here in a bit. But other than that, that is pretty much it. So you made it to the end. It's time for you to see the secret about the fridge that everyone's wondering. Not really, because you have no idea there is even a secret. Everyone always asks me how I keep my fridge so stocked, why I keep it so stocked, and why I never drink anything out of it. Because none of it's real. The Red Bulls in there are not real. They are just uh, empty Red Bull cans that are glued together to make the fridge look a lot nicer on camera. So now you know why I'm never jumping back here and drinking these Red Bulls. They do not exist. So if you were wondering why my fridge is always stocked and I never drink anything out of it, that is why. But that's pretty much it for the end of the setup tour. It is time to move back to the desk and finish off this 5,000 subscriber special. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the setup tour. That is pretty much it for this video. But before we end it, I did tell you guys that you would see what is inside of this case that I just showed you in the setup tour. As you guys know, I 3D printed a 500 subscriber play button. I 3D printed and kind of woodworked an 1,000 subscriber play button. And it's time for the 5,000 subscriber play button. But the thing that is different with this one is that my brother Javillan actually created this one. And it is sent to me in this awesome silver case. So we're going to open it up real quick quick so what he did is he took a piece of wood and he carved it into the exact shape of a youtube play button and once he did that he stained the wood and then did an epoxy pour i believe it was epoxy and did the youtube red for the play button in the center it is freaking gorgeous and this is my brand new 5,000 subscriber play button as you can see it is solid wood it is beautiful. It is a lot different than the 3D printed ones that I've had in the past. And it's got a beautiful epoxy pour 
in the center for that red YouTube logo. It is really cool, and it is going to live back in the setup where the other ones do, and that is it. Boom, there it is, chilling in the back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. Onward to 10K, and we'll see you when we get there with another celebration video. Not sure what I'm going to do for that one yet, but I'm probably going to have a pretty cool play button for that one as well. But hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.